I uh, just want to show you a way that you can use your cast to uh, kind of do the ratio test here. So what I'm going to do is uh, the ratio test uh, for a series whose nth term, a sub n, so I'm defining a function a of n, uh, a of n sorry, a sub n, uh, or a of n, is uh, the quantity, so 2n plus 3, and then 2 to the n plus 3 over 3 to the n plus 2. So once you define this, what you can now do is you can actually um, you can actually do a of n plus 1 over a of n and get that nonsense. Um, but what's nice about the uh, cast here is that we can do the limit as n goes to infinity, which uh, is in the pi key here of that ratio, so of that. Um, so I do that and I get two thirds and I know that that is less than one. So I know that this series actually will converge by the ratio test. Um, and it's it's pretty useful uh, kind of tip or thing that we can do. Um, what's, what's interesting is, uh, you know, if the nth term uh, works out to uh, say x minus 2 to the n, something like that, uh, we can still do the same thing. So uh, here, actually, I, I should have put an absolute value in there because that is uh, a part of it. Right, so, because the, the ratio test is for absolute convergence. So I do that, and I end up with this. And then I want to solve. Remember, that's many three one. The answer less than 1 uh, for x. And it does that. And uh, now what I can do is uh, kind of go back up to a of n, where uh, x equals 1 half. So I know it converges everywhere between 1 half and 7 halves. Um, and here, a non-real calculation. That is crazy. Um, and I get that. And then I want to kind of test that for convergence. Uh, and then here when it's seven halves, I get that and I want to test that for convergence. Um, but anyway, it, it allows you to quickly um, do the ratio test. So uh, you define a sub n to be a function of n on your calculator. And then your calculator can actually handle finding a sub n plus one over a sub n if you want it to. Um, or you can just have it do the limit for you. Uh, in this case, I got two thirds. Here, uh, it's gonna converge for some values, but not for other values. Um, but it gives you the inequality, and then you can uh, solve it on your own, or you can work through it. And we end up uh, here. So it's, it's giving me what I then need to test. So this is the series that I would need to test. So it's, it's alternating. Um, I need to look at uh, decreasing and the limit, see what happens there. Um, this one's not alternating, um, so I need to take a look at that as well. But anyway, uh, that's a, a little tip for what you can do using your calculator, assuming you have a cast available. Um, so I hope you find that helpful. Good luck.